Hey guys, all right, so today I'm gonna do my November favorites. And first thing, this is actually a product that I mentioned before in a video that I regretted buying, and now I love it. I love doing that. I've noticed I, I do that quite a bit. I'll have products that I immediately don't like or that I immediately love, and then months down the road, weeks down the road, days down the road, I completely change my mind about them. So, I don't know, I just think it's interesting. So anyway, that is the Makeup Forever 5 Camouflage Palette. Now, I didn't like this before because I found that it settled into my fine lines under my eyes, and I hated it. Well, now I love it. So I don't know if that's just because I'm embracing my wrinkles now, or I don't know, but I love it. And what I do is I take the lighter two shades, mix them together on my finger, and pat them under my eyes. And you can tell, I think, even right here, how much they brighten up how much it brightens up under my eyes and I think that's because it's a thicker consistency is why it does that but which is also why it settles into my fine lines so I don't know but either way I love it again so that's the Makeup Forever 5 Camo Palette next thing is a bronzer or contour this is Benefit Hoola I absolutely love this you guys know I love MAC Blunt as my contour I find that Hoola is a little bit more forgiving on me at least it's not as dark as blunt so it's a little bit easier to blend Ooh, where are we here we go I have it on today I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera and okay next thing is a foundation this is L'Oreal true match now um Oh, I'm like, who was talking about it? Candy Johnson always raves about this, but I never bought it. I was at my CVS a while ago, and they had it on sale for $8. So I thought, okay, pick it up. She loves it. I'll probably love it. We'll try it. I really, really, really like this. This I am in the shade Natural Buff in 3. And I was trying to think about how I was going to describe this before I made the video. And to be honest, I can't. I'm awful at describing things. I either ramble like I'm doing now or I'm not descriptive at all. So I guess my best thing is that it's not, it's just a different consistency than I'm normally used to using. Um, I use Makeup Forever HD, Smashbox High Definition, um, my Fresh Foundation. It's not as thick as those foundations are. You know how those kind of come out gloopy? At least that's what I notice. This isn't. It's very sheer um, texture wise, but it goes on maybe like a light to medium coverage. And I do like a lot of coverage. So what I do is I stipple it all over with my 187, buff it in, and then I add a little bit more to my cheeks, the areas that I think need it. I don't know if you're going to even be able to see when I put it on, if this is even going to help. But it's just, it's really smooth and it just, see, it just blends in so nice that it doesn't matter how much I use, how little I use, it blends in so nicely. I don't know. I know I'm awful at describing this and I'm sorry, but I just, I really like it. Now, if you're looking for like super, super full coverage or something like that, this probably isn't for you, but I don't know. That's the true match. How's that for a review? Okay, next thing. This is a face product. This is by Neutrogena. I first saw this in Allure. They had, um, it got one of their awards. You know how they do those award things. So this is the Rapid Clear Neutrogena 2-in-1 Fight and Fade Gel. I know they have one that is just a fight. This is a fight and fade. So it's supposed to help fade the post acne marks, which I have really bad on my cheeks, which you can't tell now because I have my makeup on but anyway I've been using this for about a month and a half I think a month I noticed probably after two weeks of using this the difference it lightened my marks I would say two shades lighter for me so really loving this excuse me. that was not me that was my dog Kipper come here come here I promise it was my dog okay last thing is no two things I lied okay one thing okay somebody commented the other day that they're unsubscribing from me because I swallow too much she was like drink a glass of water while you're making a video damn or something can you notice me swallowing isn't it normal to swallow don't you swallow like just as a normal thing like breathing next thing this is Revlon Colorstay pressed powder I really, really 
like this. Normally I use a loose powder to set my foundation, but I have been using the Revlon Color Stay and I have noticed a difference with it helping my makeup last longer. It also gets rid of some shine, which I like. And last thing, I wasn't going to show this, but I will. This is a MAC eyeshadow that I wear every single day. And I've never talked about it before, I don't think, but I thought I use it every day, so why aren't I talking about it? Because it's an obvious favorite. This is MAC Wedge. It's just kind of a lighter, mid-tone-ish, I guess. Well, I don't know brown and I use it every single day to blend my eyeshadow. I have it on today. I wore um, brulee all over my lid by MAC and then I have wedge up into the crease and outer corner etc. But anyway, I it doesn't matter if I'm wearing a gray all over my eye, if I'm wearing a dark brown, I always blend with wedge. Just thought I'd throw that little zinger in there. Okay, so those are my November favorites. Oh, and I started a Facebook page, and it's so nice because I can instantly upload pictures or talk to you guys or do this or this or this without having to make a video. So, and it's a lot easier to respond or communicate than Twitter. So I'm going to put the link down there so you guys can come communicate with me. Okay, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching, guys.